And I quote, there are probably more modern rifles in circulation than there are Ford F-150 pickup trucks. Those are the words of Judge Roger T. Benitez of the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of California when he handed down the ruling that California's assault weapon ban was unconstitutional. A federal judge has struck down California's three-decade ban on assault weapons, saying that it violates the Second Amendment. Now, his ruling on Friday, Judge Roger Benitez said the AR-15 rifle was, quote, like a Swiss Army knife and called it a home defense weapon. The AR-15 has been used in many of the country's deadliest mass shootings. Benitez issues a 30-day stay on the ruling, giving the state attorney general time to appeal. I just want to say God bless this man for having the cojones to make the legally sound judicial decisions that he makes regarding the Second Amendment, considering he's in one of, if not the most, anti-gun districts in the world. Judge Roger T. Benitez is to the legal protection of the Second Amendment in the Southern District of California what Steph Curry is to the art of three-point shooting, what Drake is to modern-day commercial music, and what Rihanna is to 90% of the male libido. In 2017, he blocked a California law that would ban magazines of more than 10 rounds. He also stopped enforcement of a California law that would require background checks for anyone who purchases ammo. And now he has ruled that the California assault weapon ban is unconstitutional. As far as I'm concerned, Judge Benitez is a judicial snowball living in the depths of legal hell that refuses to melt. So all praise to Lord Benitez, the legal guardian of the Second Amendment in the Southern District of California. So what happens now? Well, we wait. Unfortunately, there's a 30-day stay on this ruling. So right now, everything stays the same for the next 30 days, while the Attorney General of California, Rob Bonta, runs over to his anti-gun buddies on the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals to beg for an appeal because Rob Bonta is so promiscuously anti-gun that any ruling that protects people's rights under the Second Amendment, he's going against. The vast majority of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is just as anti-gun as Rob Bonta is. Five times now, anytime there's been a positive ruling in favor of the Second Amendment, the Ninth Circuit Court has granted a review asking for more judges to take a look at the case. So, more than likely, Bonta is going to get his appeal. And thus, the 30 days is going to become a lot longer. Because this is the same court who ruled that you don't have a right to carry a gun in public, I'm pretty confident they're going to engage in some legal alchemy to find a way to reverse this decision. At this point, the plaintiffs in this case will likely try to appeal to the Supreme Court, where honestly, I think we stand a better chance at winning. And once the Supreme Court rules, it won't just affect California, it will affect every state. And we could likely say bye-bye to an assault weapons ban in the near future. Unfortunately, this will all take a lot of time, so strap in, because the anti-gun lobby can do a lot of damage to the Second Amendment in the meantime. So yes, this is a victory for the Second Amendment, but we only want a small battle and a much bigger war. Technically speaking, there's still an assault weapons ban in California. Now, we might not see the fruits of our labor for some time to come. That being said, if the anti-gun lobby was smart, they'd tell Bonta to chill with filing an appeal and take the L. I would explain why, but then I'd be giving the anti-gun lobby ideas on how to win. And this is not something I'm about to do. And yes, AR-15s are protected by the Second Amendment a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It didn't say only handguns, it said arms. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is gonna do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section, or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.